So here we have, uh, we've got a 20 meter bridge that spans a creek. The angle of depression of one of the steel girders is 32 degrees, and the length of the other girder is 13 meters. The question is, what's the angle where the two girders meet at the bottom? So here's our bridge, 20 meters long. The angle of depression, so that's the angle from the horizontal down, so that's 32 degrees on one of the girders, and we know that the other length is 13 meters, and we're curious as to what that angle is. So this looks like a sine law question because we have the opposite pair here and we have an opposite pair here and we're trying to find an angle. So we'll have sine theta or sine of our x divided by its opposite side which is 20 equals the sine of the other angle divided by its opposite side. So we'll multiply both sides by 20 here. That'll wipe that out. So we'd now we'd have sine x equals 20 times the sine of 32 degrees divided by 13. So 20 times sine of 32 divided by 13, so 0.815, and then x now will equal the inverse sign. So inverse sign of that answer, and we get 54.6. Here we're using the sine law to try to find an obtuse angle. So obviously it, it doesn't know that we're finding the obtuse one. It gave us the acute angle. So we need to go 180 minus 54.6 and we would get 125.4. So basically 125 degrees would be the angle in between those two girders. So there's one where we use the sine law um, and specifically we had to remember that we needed to go 180 minus the angle using the sine law because we were finding an obtuse angle. Okay, here's a bit of a trickier one. Let's say you're sailing a boat and you're sailing along averaging five kilometers an hour for two hours and the compass heading that you're going at is 20 degrees and then you then change direction, call that tacking, and then you sail at a compass heading of 330 degrees for three hours. The question is, how far would you be from where you started? So we need to start by drawing a diagram. So twenty again, let's just review our compass. So North is 0 degrees, east is 90 degrees, south is 180 degrees, west is 270. So 20 degrees is just east of north, 20 degrees. So if this is straight north here, this dashed line, the boat is angling off at about 20 degrees that way. And the other thing that's a bit tricky here is it's gone five kilometers an hour. That's its speed. It's going at five kilometers an hour for two hours. So the total distance it would travel is 10 kilometers. Five kilometers per hour for two hours. So five times two. So we know that the boat has gone this far, 10 kilometers. Then it sails at a compass heading of 330. Well, 330 degrees, here's 270 all the way back around is 360, so 330 degrees is going to be somewhere off like this. And you know that this little angle in here is going to be going to be 30 degrees. And it does this, goes in this direction for how long? I'm going to make this actually a little bit tighter here because this would be a little bit more realistic. Does this for um, 
for three hours. So five kilometers an hour for three hours would be a total distance of 15 kilometers. And the question is, how far would you be from where you started? So this is going to be your question here, is how long is this side? So we've got to work with this triangle here. Here's 10, here's 15, but do we really have any angles here? Well, the short answer is yes, we do. We know that this little angle in here is 30. We know that this little angle here would also be 20 because this is a north-south line and this is a north-south line. And so these would be parallel lines. So if this little angle in here is 20, because these are parallel lines, this little angle here needs to be 20. Alternate interior angles. And we also know that angles on a line have to add to 180. So 180 plus 20 plus 30, sorry, 180 minus 20 and minus 30 will be this angle left over here. So that's 180 minus 50, which is 130 degrees. So we know that this angle is 130 degrees. So the boat went this way at 20 degree angle, and then it tacked and went this way at 330 degrees. And so really the angle that it tacked through here is 100, 130. Because we knew this little angle here was 30, and we knew this little angle in here was 20. So this angle must be 130. So now, I'm just going to draw this triangle again. We know this is 10. We know this is 15. We know this is 130. So this is a situation where we have two sides and the angle in between, and we're asked to find the opposite side. So this would now be a cosine law question. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of the angle in between them. So our A we're calling X in this question. So X squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of the angle in between them. And so I can go to the calculator. 10 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 10 times 15 times the cosine of the angle in between is 517.8. And to get x, I will square root both sides. and 22.756, let's call it 22.8. So the boat is a distance of 22.8 kilometers away from where it started. So how far would you be from where you started? The boat is 22.8 kilometers from where it started. Always a good idea to answer the question by, by writing a sentence. So this is how we can use sine law and cosine law to solve some word problems that involve obtuse angles, angles more than 90 degrees.